This is Hillcrest Villas. Property Bras is heading into a pure strata landed development. We are right in the thick of Bukitima, the king of schools. And if you love to live within a 300 odd meters from Tanka Key downtown MRT line, and you want to be in a strata project with five to six bedrooms, <laughs> okay. okay, Hillcrest Villas might be the right one for you. Follow Property Bras on this home tour. Let's go. So this is Hillcrest Villas. We are located in Bukit Timah. This is in the D11 address. And definitely if you're hunting for the right locale with at least five to six bedrooms, if you want to put in your investment budget for your home below the $3.5 million mark, and having that amount of bedrooms is not easy to find, so let's bring you through the entire analysis later on. Let's have a look at Hillcrest Villas. So this project comprised of 163 cluster strata housing. These are all pure strata landed properties. When we zoom up, Hillcrest Villas surprisingly is much larger than some of the nearby condominiums and apartments and when you go for a large land size project like this one definitely in terms of density vis-a-vis -vis the land plot ratio you're definitely getting more space for privacy this was completed in the year 2010 land tenure 99 years from the year 2006 in fact all owners have pumped in close to $160,000 of renovation just less than three years back i think this is very suitable for you especially if you want to save time and you don't want to spend that five to six months in terms of interior renovation for your family. Coming back to this location, Bukitima has always had a reputation for being called the king of schools. Just zooming in right here, we are about 300 odd meters from Tan Ka Ki MRT station. I think it's going to be very convenient for your kids. Not only do you have a sheltered walkway right outside Hillcrest Villa towards a Tan Ka Ki MRT station exit, you also have the connection of another five MRT interchange just down the belt. And the next station is Botanic MRT station, and that is the interchange towards the Circle Line. So over the weekend and just take one stop down bring your kids down to botanic gardens and when you travel one more station down that stevens mrt that's going to be the interchange for thompson east coast line as well which will then bring you down towards orchard boulevard and orchard mrt station once that gets open in the next one to two years one more station down you'll be at newton newton is the interchange towards the north south mrt line and then further one more station that'll bring you to little india which connects you to the rest of north east line and the last station which is bugis mrt station that connects you to East West Line. So you are located in an MRT line network that connects you to the other five line network. And that is definitely something that is very interesting, especially if you are living just right near towards Tankaki MRT station. So zooming back to the school's network, just right behind us is Raffles Girls Primary School. On the right hand side, you have NJC. On further right, you have Nanyang Girls High School. Right opposite us is the entire landscape of Hua Chong Institution. And just diagonally on the left of Hillcrest Villa, that is Nanyang primary schools and one of the key reasons is having good schools that's pivoted around your property with Singapore being such a small land scarce island a lot of families are putting a lot of attention on education of their kids I'm gonna bring you downstairs we're gonna start from the car porch area and then we'll head back upwards let's go One key feature that a lot of families hunt for strata housing is because the basement is already pre-built for you and you have two private parking lots right here. So this home has five plus one bedrooms. The total build-up area is 2,917 square feet. These are all predominantly two and a half story homes within the Hillcrest Villa estate. So all in, you have four levels. So two of the bedrooms are on the basement level, which we call it the one plus one right here. And then two bedrooms on level two and then another two bedrooms right on level three, which is the attic level. So let me show you where are the car ports right here. So over here, you can easily park two cars. Just check out the brightness of the car park outside because there is a lot of natural ventilation right coming on from the top. What the developers has done is that they have created this very nice opening. This service every row of houses. This brings in a lot of natural ventilation right from the top. If you were to walk along the car park outside, it is so breezy and a lot of fresh air right outside. It just feels a little bit like level one, although we are on the basement 
level. When you come in, this is the part that you get. And when you park your cars, you also notice that there are additional storage outside for your shoes. So two panels of shoe cabinet outside. I think you can easily put in close to about 40 pairs of shoes. The flooring wise, these are all made with marble. Everything here is almost like brand new. Basement level, you get a nice family zoning. They made it a little bit to be like a welcome area, a little bit like a gaming room. So this is that additional secondary family zoning right here. You have a storage room right here, which is the home shelter. And uh, it's pretty deep. The racks are all already done. What we notice is the high ceiling. So if you want to top up the racks upwards, you can do that as well. Let me just on the lights, show you a little bit. Flooring is also done. You can actually push up more racks up to the top. So you have a little bit of pocket storage under the stairway right here as well. So you can put in some stuff. Now this space, alternatively, you can use it as a private home office because technically you have a little bit more privacy right here. Also easier to exit if you have appointments because your cars are right parked outside. So let me bring you to the first room. So this room right here is a mini sized guest room. It opens up to the air well right at the side. So you have a two door panel storage right here. Room is great for a super single or single bed. Aircon is already done. You have another guest room right here. So alternatively, if you have living helpers at home, this level can be dedicated for a living helpers. You have a three panel wardrobe, study desk, as well as a single bed right here. Something to note importantly is that basement level, when you have your bathroom, very easy access because in the entire four levels right here you have a total of four bathrooms one on basement two on suite right on on level two and then on level three you have a shared common bath for the other two bedrooms so bathroom importantly renovation for wet works is definitely more expensive and thus these are all pre-done for you durovit wc system gerberit uh, flush system as well as the fittings for the bathrooms they're all hands grow here and nice shower area tucked right at the corner so in terms of this design over here this is more like a modern contemporary kind of feel and later as we hit upwards towards level one you would definitely love to hang out at level one so right on let's go All right, so why do people buy strata landed properties? So usually families, when they hunt for strata landed living, they want a good mix to have some level of condo facilities. And of course, they do not want to have that kind of hassle of taking care of their own pure landed property because the key difference between a pure landed home as well as comparing to a strata landed home is that for strata landed home, the MCST essentially takes care of anything that is exterior and within the exterior compounds. So you do pay an MCST fee to buy over the level of convenience that you get. Surprise Surprisingly, the MCST fee for Hillcrest Villa is only at about 580 odd dollars per month, which uh, in many contexts for many strata housing, they are already in the range of about 800 to 1000 dollars a month. So this is in a very nice affordable range, partly because the amount of density of homes right here is at 163 units. So it's a good balance in terms of the load sharing of its share value. You get a nice level of balance in terms of facilities. For example, a nice lap pool that is right in front of this row of houses right here. The moment you drive in, security is 24. Based parking is all configured for the entire project. You do get another pool right near towards the clubhouse zoning and within every row of houses there are a good mix of lawn space for your family to walk around as well. Let's bring out the site plan of Hillcrest Villa. Something to note is that Hillcrest is designed in rows of houses in parallel towards the Bukit Timah main network of road line. The first row definitely is a key benefit if you are somebody that loves to swim because just right outside your home you have this external access from your front yard after that you can just come back you don't have to walk very deep into the project this is great if you want to have the pool just right outside your doorstep Just have a look at the kitchen space that's being done. This is like an open kitchen concept. Initially, this was like a more enclosed version. You still have the option to enclose this back because of this nice wall line that is located right here where I'm standing at. So we have done another quotation for you. If you want to put in a glass panel sliding door, that can be done easily. Something to note is also this bifold door, which is not the default option. The developer gave sliding panels here, but this is like an openable bifold version that allows you to push the panel doors right to the left and right hand side. So this is fantastic. 
This backyard, of course, can be an additional outdoor zone. You can throw in an outdoor dining set right there. Or you can even lay over artificial grass to make it like a little bit more like a backyard garden. They have created like a small little shelter right there and put in a washer come dryer. So that is like a reserved portion for the laundry area. You can also utilize this space for your clothes drying if you want to do natural clothes drying. So let's bring your attention back to the kitchen. Nice dining top right here. And these are all quartz material countertop. Super long lasting. And you have like a concave version here for you to put in two high stools to have your coffee here, coffee machines right here. Importantly, maybe you come over to this side. Let me just show you the storage space that you have. So you have pull-outs over here. Within the pull-out, there's also another row of pull-out. All soft closure system, very long lasting. This is definitely having a more efficient use of space. So even here as well, huge pull-outs, you can put in a lot more of your cooking ware, even under the sink, also pull-outs as well. So this is a space for dishwasher. Right at the corner, huge Frankel sink. And then at the top, bloom system hinge for your dish rack. You even have another top hung over here as well. So let me just do a storage check for you. So internal lamination has been done very well maintained over the years. Brand, induction cooker, hood and hob and you have more storage space over here. So the overall design theme of the entire home is a balance between three primary colours. So you have a nice middle tone wood grain finish in terms of its vinyl flooring as well as the furnitures and then you have a dark lines finish. Now let's have a look at some of the tall drawers right here. So we have some additional storage and this is great. Just look at the amount of things that you can store. So this part will be your oven come your microwave and then a nice corner for your fridge space. So coming back here, it flows directly into your dining space areas. Right now this is fitted with an 8 seater, you can go up to a 10 seater. Alright, so as we flow towards the living room, there is this like welcome foyer the moment you come up from your basement level. They have done in a nice huge mirror from floor to ceiling. But beneath this mirror is actually pockets of storage right on the left and right hand side. If you have a piano at home, I think this is going to be the space for your kids to do their craft as well. Let's come back to the living area. We love the living space. Just have a look at this designer ceiling fan. Because of the fact that the ceiling height is generous, you can put in like a cove light feature with an L-shaped kind of false ceiling. And having this ceiling fan right here, it just adds a very nice modern touch to the entire space. So when you look outwards from your home, uh, let me do a direction check for you. So this is predominantly about 206 degrees southwest. West is on the very tilt angle right hand side. But something good about Bukit Timaru is that there are huge trees along the road so that sheds in a huge amount of sunlight but definitely when you buy a landed home sun comes in all direction but this is predominantly south facing at the front north facing right at the back living room space from what we can see very generous in size because in totality the 2914 square feet when it spreads over four different levels most of the space is given to level one coupled with the front and back yard so let's have a look at the bookcase now a designer bookcase has been done space for your tv can go up to about 65 inch but most most importantly, on the left, right, top and bottom, you can put in a lot of uh, book collection. Even after placing this nice little kids home, you still have a lot of room to move around. You still have a slide right at that direction. You still have a worktop for your kids right at that direction. Your front yard can also be a space for you to put in your bicycles and all that because owners have already done an external awning. So you can just open up the awning a little bit, provide a little bit of shelter. Alternatively, you can put it in your basement level. So meantime, let me pass you to Sean. He's gonna bring you to level two and three, and then we'll chat more later. Alright, so before we head on upstairs to actually take a look at the bedrooms on the upper level, let us just touch a little bit more about some of the research and also some price analysis in the Bukit Kima region area itself. Firstly, I think you might be looking at some of the condominiums that are in the area. So further down, Tangkaki MRT stations, along Duchess Avenues, you can find Duchess Crest. We just sold a unit over there. The four bedrooms are sized at about 1,700 square feet with a price quantum of about $2.78 million. And that puts the PSF at about 1,006 odd per square foot. And the five to six bedrooms in Duchess Crest are in the range of about 
about six odd million dollars and the reason for this bump is that the sizing itself is almost two times as much as compared to the four bedrooms over there so if we were to take a look further down at Duchess residences the four bedrooms over there are the largest form factor sized at about 2,000 odd to 3,000 odd per square foot and the price quantum range between four millions all the way to five odd million dollars over there and that puts the PSF range in about 1,008 to about 1,009 odd per square foot so secondly you might be considering the, about the 99 years leasehold lenders in the regions so taking a look at Namli Lender and Cliff you can find 99 years leasehold semi lease around the area so the price quantum range between about 5.5 million dollars all the way to six odd million dollars in the range and a third option that you might be considering are the freehold landed properties in this area so you can find freehold terrace home in the Namli and Cliff and that price ranges between 5.5 all the way to 7.8 million dollars depending on the level of renovations as well as the distance to the MRT stations and the fourth kind of options that you might be considering about could be the new launch kind of developments that are happening around this area so over here the two very prominent developments for your considerations definitely would be Royal Green as well as 4th Avenue residences a 4th Avenue is a 99 years lease hole while Royal Green is a freehold condominium project for the two developments over here the four bedrooms are the largest form types for both of the projects with the price quantum ranging from 3.5 all the way to 4 million dollar ranges and that puts the PSF in the range of about 2005 all the way to 2008 per square foot and the last kind of consideration that you might be thinking about is 99 years leasehold cluster homes in the area similarly to ours so if you take a look at further out from Tankaki MRT stations we have the Greenwood as well as Greenwood Mills the Greenwood is a 103 leasehold project cluster homes over there the price quantum range between 3 mil all the way to 3.3 million dollars and that puts per square foot in the range of about thousand to about thousand one and right beside it we have Greenwood Mills 99 years lease home project over there the price quantum for the cluster home is starting from 4 million all the way to 4.7 million dollars and that puts the PSF in the range of about thousand two to about thousand three odd per square foot so taking a look at the entire property landscape here in Bukit Timah we really feel that our unit here at Hillcrest Villa hits that trifecta sweet spot in terms of overall price quantum per square foot as well as size at the asking price of $3.499 million and a size of 2917 square feet and that puts the overall PSF at about 1199 per square foot and this means that you get to stay right beside the Tankaki MRT station so I really feel that this unit here is something really nice for you to check out <laughs> Alright, so heading upstairs, there are two bedrooms that are ensuite in nature. So let's check out this bedroom right over here. So this is the junior master suite with the ensuite bathroom at the side. The layout is extremely functional. We have fitted a single size bed over here. You still got a space for a study desk and also just a lounging chair at the back for you to do your daily readings. There's also very large window panels on the side over here just to allow for a lot of natural light to come in. I think this layout here is already very fantastic. You have a bed over here and there's even a TV that is placed on the side. So for the bedrooms, they also have a 3 meter ceiling height over here. So when you come down here for physical viewings, do enjoy the space that is in the bedrooms as well. So in this bedroom, you even have a walk-in wardrobe space that links you towards your bathroom areas. There are three panels of wardrobe spaces here for you. The bathroom itself is also very nicely renovated with Hans Grohe fittings and also Duravit sanitary fittings as well. As you come in back here, you really do not need to kind of do much renovations in the toilet. All right, so now let's step on across and bring you towards the master room of the home. Let's go. Alright, so stepping into the master room, immediately you will notice that we are fronting towards the front part of the development which means that you get to enjoy this really nice greenery views every morning when you wake up. So our owners have done up double glazed windows on this side for you and what this means is that you can have the additional level of soundproofing and as well as heat insulation for your units. And the sheer size of the master room is very generous. We have fitted a king size bed in this corner and there's even a space for a lounging chair in this portion over here. Now I think initially when you notice is that there are no wardrobe spaces in this room itself because the wardrobe spaces are found in the bathroom area. So let's check out the bathroom side. So the bathroom area is done up in this very longish nature. Everything here has already been very well renovated. You have Duravit as well as Hans Grohe sanitary fittings. And I really like that you have this additional vanity tabletop. And the walls is done up with this very nice pearl light kind of tiles. Even all the way to the wardrobes themselves, they have this very nice little designer knobs that's done up in this side. So if you want to come up here, do your morning makeups, do your morning touch-ups, this is a perfect spot for that. The walk-in wardrobe is actually attached along with the bathroom itself. This gives you the extra level of privacy because you do not need to head out from your bathroom areas to change your clothes. So of course, if you do wish to kind of have additional wardrobe spaces, you can choose to place them over here as well. There's even a very nice TV feature set that is done up in this corner. All right, so now let's head on up and check out the top floor of the home. Let's go. Life was dull until you came out. 
Right, so the two bedrooms here on the top floor, they actually share a common balcony. So we're in one of the smaller bedroom types over here. The owners have converted this space into a mini baby's room. So they fitted a smaller bed frame over here. There's even power outlets that's done up on the side. So if you want to install your own TV feature wall or computer screen, it's definitely doable on this side. Now in every room, we have noticed there are huge panels of windows are done up. So this means that a lot of natural light and wind flows will definitely come into your unit. There are additional wardrobe spaces that are done up on this side that is flush against the wall. So sliding down, you can actually take a look at the size itself. So I always have placed a couple of baby clothes on this corner. So now let's head on over to check out the next room. Alright, so stepping into the last and final bedrooms in our units, our owners have done up this platform bed systems over here and fitted a king size bed. There's even three panels of wardrobe spaces that stretches from the bottom all the way to the top. So really maximizing that area. And tucked away in this corner is your own vanity tabletop spot. So perfect for you to do your touch-ups or makeup. So our owners have done up this platform system over here and below, there are actually additional storage spaces found not only on the platforms but in the bed sites here as well. So I think it's really functional and really unique for this layout. And fronting towards bedroom sizes here, they are the shared balcony that we mentioned earlier. So if you want to head on out and enjoy a little bit of fresh air, you can definitely step out out here from your own door itself. Our owners have also fitted a double glazed window system. So standing right here, you definitely don't hear much noise. Right, so let's head on back and check out the balcony itself. In the balcony side, our owners have fitted a swing chair over here, even a small table. So if you want to come out here and enjoy a little bit of fresh air, I think this is a perfect spot right beside your bedroom. But additionally, I think what you can do to this space is fit probably a large lounging chair located over here so they can also sit and enjoy the greenery views right on top of your unit. Alright, so now let's head on over to check out the top floor gorgeous bathroom in this side. So the bathroom has been done up in the black colour marble look-alike theme over here which is very different from the other levels. You have additional wardrobe spaces right behind the mirror over here. So six panels of mirror storages on this side. You have a very long elongated tabletop corner and if you need additional storage spaces, there's even more right in the bottom over here. Now the shower area at the back is really generous. You even have a marble seat that is done on the side and with spaces over here to store all your shampoos and toiletry needs. And the toilet areas is also fitted with Gerbit brand. So these are really good quality stuff. And there's also additional storage spaces found. So as a whole, I think this bathroom is really functional. There's tons of storage spaces here. Alright, so we come to the end of the property home tours. Now, I hope you have enjoyed the tour here with me and Melvin showing you this gorgeous cluster home here in Hillcrest Villa. So, if you want to keep your price quantum below the $3.5 million range and you want to have this multi generation family living close by to Tangkaki MRT stations and also close proximity to good schools, then definitely do check out our unit here in Hillcrest Villa. Our listing manager's contact details are in the description box below. We are also in Facebook, Instagram and also TikTok, so do check out our channels over there. My name is Sean, Property Living Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Over here, you can find 99 years... Wait ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see this. Uh. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Okay.